And honestly, it should be extremely brave to take that job in 2012. How was life there? 2012, yeah. 2012. Uh, at that moment of time, I, I got the offer from Yemen, and I, I'm really passionate by uh, the Arab world. I worked in 2002, 2003, 2003, 2004. With that time, it was Al Ittihad. Later, they changed the name in Al Garafa. Uh, one of my players in Al Ittihad, Al Garafa, was uh, Jamal Belmadi, the, the current coach of Algeria. Uh, I worked with Shabab Al Ordon in, in, in Jordan, and I was in 2011 also in uh, Damascus to talk to the Syrian national team federation, the federation and the government just before the coup. But um, when I got the offer to go to, to Yemen, for me, it was it was something amazing because I wanted to coach an, an Arab nation. I love the culture. I love the style of playing. Uh, and Yemen would play the Gulf Cup in Bahrain and the West Asian Football Federation Championship in Kuwait. So it would be really interesting to compete with Carlos Queros from Iran. We played against each other. Uh, with uh, Frank Reichardt, Saudi Arabia. But I called the Belgian embassy in Saudi Arabia and they said everyone has to leave Yemen. It's dangerous there. No European, no Western guy can be in Yemen. But I said, I need to go there. Uh, and uh, I went there. Uh, the, 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 the embassy said, you have to stay in the Mervyn Pick Hotel. That's the only safe hotel. The Federation say, no, we don't put you in the Mervyn Pick Hotel because if there comes uh, a bomb attack or so, it will be in that hotel. So I was in a small hotel in town uh, together with my players. I have to be saying it was one of the most beautiful places I ever worked. Um, uh, the people are fantastic in Yemen. They are lovely people. I was scared. I was scared for sure in the beginning because you hear them shooting. Sometimes they were shooting because of celebration, uh, sometimes for other reasons. So I was scared a lot. Uh, but but the people, the players, the staff, the federation, uh, the people on the street, um, they are fantastic. Yemen is such a beautiful country. Um, the, 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 the country itself, the landscape, the, the architecture, the, the buildings, it's amazing. And in 2019, the Yemen Federation asked me uh, to return, but I was with uh, Gambia. And even this year, in 2021, Yemen called me again to return because I'm still in touch with Federation, with General Secretary uh, Dr. Amit al Shabani, with the former team manager and now a board member, Abdul Wahab uh, Zurka. I'm still in touch with my assistant coaches, with uh, staff members, my physio, with my players. Because for me, Yemen was a fantastic place to be. Um, and, and, and I had a very good experience there. It was only scary, but the people are lovely. So uh, it's, uh, I, hope, I hope Yemen can have peace uh, in the near future uh, because it's one of the most beautiful places for the people, even for tourists, uh, to visit because it's an amazing country.